Hello everyone and welcome to the part of the course where we will finally talk about setting up the materials and before we do that let's just spend a few more moments talking about the approach we are going to take to the topic. So the first thing I want to discuss are those tabs we have here, those window layouts which I mentioned in the first chapter of the course. These are now available in Blender 2.80 but you have probably noticed I was sticking to this default layout for the bigger part of the course and to be honest with you I will stick to that even in this part as well. We have this shading and UV editing panels here but to be honest with you I don't really need to use them that much. Perhaps we will use the shading one a little bit more often since it's already set up for previewing the textures but as for the UV editing, I will simply uh, configure what we have here on the right. So what I need to change is basically setting up the UV editor here. I can always access it in full screen mode when I press Ctrl spacebar with my mouse hovering over it and now Ctrl spacebar to go back to the main layout. And yeah, the properties tab, I can always simply move around like that and the shader editor as well if I need to en enlarge it I just press Control spacebar. Second thing will be the specific materials we're gonna approach and looking at the reference you can see the three most dominant shaders or maybe four are the concrete floor, the wooden elements, then let's say the default white color we have on the walls and ceiling and then there are the glass elements. So this will be the four main uh, shaders we are going to discuss first and then we are going to move to setting up the let's say minor shaders. So these are the glossy elements like this black material here, the white glossy material materials here and the metallic shaders here around the counter here and on some of the chairs. The wooden and concrete shaders will require UV mapping so this will be a thing I'm gonna cover in the beginning of describing of each shader and as for the details like let's say those kitchen elements here or those chairs we will have to simplify the shader look on them just a little bit. It also applies to the hidden window elements or here because by default the assets we create in Choco 4 they have multiple shaders so you can have the best possible look of your model but very often in the practical approach we don't need that that many shaders so sometimes it's better to have one metallic shader on all metallic elements like we have here in the reference for example I would say yeah okay maybe we could use two shaders here but definitely a chromed material we have here or around the details in the scene we could use just a simple shader instead of three what happens when you simply um, append the objects if you simply add them to the scene using our Choco 4 model manager so yeah, point three would be uh, UV mapping and reducing the material amount around the scene. And the point four, which just I want to outline, is that we are going to use a principled BSDF shader. So as kind of a standard material, you can see we have here. This is something that's available when you simply add a shader in Blender 2.80. but if you played around the scene already you can see that for some of the Chocofru assets we have those very strange <laughs> node setups and that's because some of the models were created on the very early versions of cycles which didn't support uh, principled BSDF shader so perhaps we will redo some of them perhaps I will just describe how it works how you can set up those things yourself and uh, besides the 
principled BSDF shader. There is also a glass shader, something very important, which we will have to cover separately. Probably the most important thing from this part of the course. But yeah, we will slowly get to that point. And I really want to invite you to another video where we are going to talk about the concrete shader. Thank you guys for watching. This video is part of my interior visualization course in Blender, which you can watch for free on YouTube. All the necessary details and link to the full playlist can be found in the video description. If you want to support what I do and access all of the 3D files used in this course, plus Blender ready interior setups and over 2000 Blender exclusive 3D models, just visit the Chocofur store and learn more about our subscription plans. Again, thanks for watching and I see you soon.